It's your boy Mikey where we talking media, man. I try to give it to you. Now we see it. You know, I you know I, I, oh my, I, I don't know how many times I gotta tell brothers, man. I, I, listen, I watched Coach Greg Adams. Um, you know, he, he his theology is pretty accurate. It just doesn't apply for everything. Getting money is for yourself. I'm, I'm going to say that. That's one thing I disagree with some of these guys. Uh, the, uh, and I'm not saying Greg, Greg Adams particularly, you know, fresh and fit particularly, any of those guys, right? Because, again, a lot of these kids are watching them. Watch them. They're the biggest hitters in the um, man-focused topics, and, and a lot of ladies watch them as well. But they go, money, 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 for the love of money. <laughs> the bag is for for self-freedom the bag is for self-freedom the bag doesn't mean loyalty okay from others the bag is meant let me say it again the bag is meant for self-freedom right you don't have to necessarily work a job you don't like you can do whatever you want you can travel blah 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 but when it comes to another person coming in your life, there is no loyalty. Okay? People have a lot of wants. Was it the Maslow needs chart or whatever? Check that out. Maslow, old college chick. Hierarchy of needs, I believe it is. Look that up, brothers. Any hood, any hood guys, look that up. It's, it's dope to learn different things, guys. Check that out. So you just, just Google it. M-A-S-L-O. Hierarchy and maybe I'll show it to you. But within that, with women especially, they have a gift for it. Again, I got lady friends, and maybe maybe we bring them on and have them talk. The fact is that women have a lot of different needs, and not everything can be fulfilled by one thing. The dog may be the person that she sleeps with at night. You know, I hate to say it. It's a new world. It is what it is, guys. That's a, the Instagram gives her the attention. The young Jeezy gives her the baby and pays for everything. Oh, shit. Why well, have to go there? Wow. You like that? You like that? But her sexual needs may need to be satisf satisfied by Mario Lopez. Yeah, here we go. You see, the edge that Jeezy had, the edge that Jeezy had, and again, Greg Adams highlights this of several channels that actually Myron, you see, I hate using them all the time, but despite some of the racial things I hear, which I don't like, even Pearl, and Pearl's learning from all these guys, by the way, but she's learning again. You gotta admit, she's learning. I, I can't lie to you. Again, I don't like, you know, again, she may think of you as a lower ling, and that's, you know, understandable. But at the end of the day, the next level, the next peel of the onion happens to be, I, I say it's deeper than race. Yes, I hate to say it. It's deeper than race. It's the, 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 the relationship between man and woman. It's critical. It's deeper than the race. Yes. If, if that falls, racial divides can... You know, that happens, right? You can live in Brooklyn and I can live in, you know, the Bronx. And, and you know, I'm, I'm making that, you know, the split is there, right? It can be there. It can be managed. But when you say male and female relationships and the alleged way it's supposed to be is breaking down where everything's helter-skelter and men are going to start to really go crazy. When they figure out, you know, a million's not enough, a billion's not enough. Watch out now. Watch out now. I know we've seen a lot of videos with crime, but crime's actually down right now. People, a lot of people are working, unemployment's low. So that's that's another thing. Let's walk this through. I I just opened it up. G Jeezy divorcing Gina May because she allegedly cheated on him with host Mario Lopez. Jeezy, uh, Jeezy, Jeezy. So, this is first of all, girl from Hollywood. Let's go over all the mistakes. And this, this is a guy that's a hustler. 
Okay, he's a he's a hustler. He's he's, he's claimed it, so I'm just claiming what he claims. So no, no, no dry no dry snitching here. He has a background from the streets. Okay, um, he's a great rapper. I, I love his style. Let me tell you, when Jeezy first came out, if if you guys don't know from other cultures, um, he broke he really broke the way for the South, in my opinion, and, and bringing some of the East Coast guys fully in turn in, in tune with what the what the South guys the, the guys down South were doing. You know, he had a magnetism to his beats. I believe his drummer who hit him, but I forgot his who who. who Whoever, whoever his beat guy was, was was fantastic. And then he had the voice to perfectly match it. And it, and it was really street focused, kind of like your boy, what's his name? Uh, Future. Okay. Future from Atlanta. Street guy. We we got, you know, in, in New York, New Jersey, yeah, we call mi mixtape boys. All right. You know, you know the, the, the camera mixtape boys, the locks mixtape boys. And then you got all, all the deeper rappers, all right, that, that, that you guys have never heard of. And it's really. You know they can make big money just hitting hitting our circle, right? Because we have so much populations in those areas. You know, like in New York City, you know, six, seven, eight, and then there's actually twenty something million people in in the vicinity from from Philly to Boston, even more than that. And so just imagine you you just get that area, you're you're a multimillionaire, you're rich. You know, you're rich, you're popular, you got it. Jeezy, similar fashion in Atlanta, you get a little bit of Atlanta, Georgia, and South Carolina, and I think maybe you touch Charlotte a little bit. You get those three, you're rich. Um, but, but he crossed lines across all those venues and exploded and really changed the rap game. Really, really love Jeezy, man. Really, I can't lie to you, man. A lot of good albums. But it hates me to say, it, it, it's, it's almost like he made a rookie mistake with dating a woman from a, from a totally different venue who has shown her colors, who has told you what she was. She told you what she was, and, and you can see where she came from. I am highlighting to you that, and again, not, not everything's the same, and the bad ones are always put out to the front. We know that, right? All the bad relationships are always the, the first ones they're talking about, right? Headline news. Okay? Um, this rumor mill may not be true, though, right? But we got to talk about it. Hollywood girl. Married to, and listen, I'm, I'm going to call a spade a spade and be honest. There's nothing wrong with everyone's, anyone's opinion and or preference. So lo and behold, I have some Asian friends. And the dialect that Jeannie Mae has is exactly what they have. Black men, now, now black guys were cocky as hell, okay? I got to admit. We're cocky. I think some white white guys are white guys are as well. They they have a superiority thing. I think we're probably I think the uh, the three cockiest um, black, white, and Spanish guys. And I know Spanish guys like to group themselves with white, so I group them. Whatever you want to be called, I don't I don't I don't, you know, I don't give a shit. It doesn't doesn't hurt me. Help me. I'm, I can care less. Whatever you want. Okay, good. All right. So um, they they are you know pretty cocky. If if you have a little bit of attractiveness in those 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 venues, you get cocky. All right, where, where am I going with this? Jeannie May, Asian woman in particular, in their culture, they highlight the lighter color as a venue for more riches. Okay, being more luxury, well off. All right. Jeannie May happens to be, strike three for her, I don't know if she's done this on her own, a darker-skinned Asian. And it's almost like a darker-skinned Latina. Okay? Like a Thailand, or I don't know where she's from, Vietnam, or I think she's Vietnamese. All right? She has a little bit darker skin. I don't know if she's tanning or what. Okay? So she has that look, and already you... When a girl has that look, when I see a Hispanic girl, she's dark, a little bit darker skinned. They have such a beautiful color. Oh my God! I mean, man, those Spanish women when they, you know, that little light, light, light brown, or you know, it's just oh, just magnificent. I know she's going to a whiter Spanish guy. I know right away she's going to be looking for a whiter Spanish guy. 
Well, and you say, why is that? It's called mejor la raza. Okay? I mean, it's a Mexican term, but I'm going to use it here. Make the race better is the terminology. Because fairer skin, fairer skin is regarded as luxury. You say, what? why, 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 why? Look, guys, walk with me a little bit. Let's talk intelligently. Let me give you something. Because blacks, first of all, I'm gonna hit the easiest one, the the bare the bare knuckles of it, primitive, but it's bare knuckles. People that work outside are not people that are considered rich in those countries. That's long, long, long time ago in history. So therefore, if they're in the sun, they get what? They're probably a field hand or something like that back in the day. They're darker. So darker is not assimilated with riches. And 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 yes, I believe in my you can look it up. I believe that's the bare basics of why this race shit started, at least in Asia. The bare knuckles of it. I know it's growing to something else. But the bare knuckles of it. Back in the old days when there's riding horses and cattle, you know, the kings and queens were in the in the in the quarters, right? In, in some shelter. And on the outside, the darker skinned people were working all day in the sun. And that <laughs> that that I mean, this is how stupid race can be. And you and you want and they say, why don't aliens contact us? Them, them ninjas came over. 20, 20 different dimensions. You think you're gonna talk to a species that says he's black, I'm white? Come on, man. Them, them ninjas ain't checking for us, bro. They're gonna pass right by. Look at these idiots. Anyway, but that bare necessity, that bare necessity brings about what has grown into that hierarchy through all the Asian cultures. Go to India, there's a caste, caste system. Same damn deal. You go to black countries, hey, I'll say a spade's a spade, right? You go to black countries, the lighter skinned blacks are treated better than the darker skinned blacks. Let's call a spade a spade. Stop messing around with these people, man. Don't stay in the sun too long. Blah, 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 blah. You're dark. All right? You're like, where are you going with this, bro? Like, what? Get to the point. I, I hear you. I hear you. Hold on. Hold on. Let's let's marinate this thing, man. Let's marinate the chicken. Jeannie Mae, darker skin Asian girl. What the hell do you think her preference was first? She went to her preference when she first got married. She married a white man, Jeezy. That was her preference. All right? A regular Joe White guy. Because a regular Joe White guy in the eyes of those that have that racial context. Now, let me tell you, let me tell you who won't have that racial uh, predetermination. A person of who is of that race. <laughs> you see? Ain't that crazy? See, the darker skinned people think about it all the time, but the person who's already white, they're open to everything because they're already white. Now they want something different. I believe that's why you see so many interracial marriages between blacks and whites. White guys already on top. White woman thinks she's already on top. But I'll date you. I want to go. Yeah, I'll try. I want to try something different. While the darker races are trying to get away from it, the whiter races are trying to get to it. I guess that's how the world works. Let me get. Let me keep going here with Jeannie Mae though. So Jeannie Mae <laughs> married her husband, who's a white guy, to fulfill her family dream. Her family was happy. Good job. Okay. All right. And then she goes on the view and she makes a comment. Darker meat on the side, whiter meat for marriage. That's a logic, I believe, for most of women. Again, I know it's, I've just mentioned some white 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 folks don't care. And yeah, I agree. But you know, and from a scale perspective, when we look at it from a majority in general in general, you marry you marry white, it's easier. You marry a white person, it's easier. The judgment call, you know, the attitude is going to change. They're going to respect you. Every race will respect you off the bat for your color. They're a little bit more, I would say, tippy-toe when they talk to you, when they walk with you, right? They, 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 there's a respect factor off the bat because of your race. Let's uh, spade a spade, man. I'm going to call it. 
Alright? It's easier. It's easier. Alright? So now, that relationship breaks apart due to some reason. I don't know what it was. It looks like it was amicable. The white guy's good, you know. All right, you know, you know the white and Asian thing is going on forever. So you know, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go re up with something else. You know what I mean, certain cultures can just do that, right? They get married and unmarried all day long, like nothing. All right, so it hurts a little bit, but uh, move on by next, next, right? Jeezy has kids from other women of his culture. Okay, okay, okay. But did he do any background check on that culture? And how many relationships does he see of women of this culture? Did he research Vietnam? I could just do a quick search. Vietnam racism. Man, it, it goes up now. That's a particular search that will pull up something everywhere. But search Vietnam racism. I mean, they don't really fool around with the, the darker skin. Now, there's going to be, you know, there's going to be black guys in the comments. And, and I'm, I'm, I hate to say I'm a minority. No matter where I go, I don't really have no pride. I see what I'm saying? But I'm a minority. I know I am. Right, I'm, not, I'm taller, blah blah blah. Maybe they think I do something. I mean, that's that's it. There's certain black guys that are gonna win there, and they'll comment, and there'll be that one darn comment out of, out of a billion. I'm doing good over here, bro. Slow down. Look at it from a scale perspective. I hate when guys do that. Individual. This is our problem with our culture. Everything's individual. It should be grouping. That's how you grow. By the way, okay. By the way. Let's keep going. So, you research Vietnam, there's a problem. Thailand is so nuts now that even though they, even though it's mostly white, Asian, blacks can sneak in there. Philippines as well. Even though blacks, men, and military guys have been there forever, it's mostly white guys that win in those arenas because that's what they want, the fairer skin. You know? There's a lot of underage things going on, and I'm not going to go there. But, you know, that's, I, I just saw an article on it. A lot of underage. You know, anyway, anyway. So Jeezy obviously didn't do that research. He thinks, I'm Jeezy. I'm big. So why did I highlight, you know, Dipset being big from, you know, Philly to, uh, they're, they're international. But back, I'm just saying, the mixtape joints, usually you get it from, you know, you can hit maybe even D.C. From D.C. to, to Upton, it's really Philly. Philly up to Boston, same swag, right? You got, you know, the mixtape joints, and they know the dip say mixtape, mixtape joints. All right. And and, and 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 it's a small sect. And, and and those guys in dipset feel on top of the world because you're you're in the, was one of the most some of the most popular cities with the richest people, and they recognize you. And people recognize you. It's, it's big city life, right? When you're big in New York, you feel you're big everywhere. Jeezy's big in Atlanta, big time rapper, goes on the View. Doesn't know that she's a you know this is a LA girl, where everyone that thinks they're big disappears because it's <laughs> you know Dipset mixtape in LA. Ain't no Dipset mixtape in LA. See where I'm going here? Atlanta's king. Well, he's a rapper. He has money. That's cool. Valley girl. A converted valley girl trying to be valley girl, right? Of Asian descent. Right? Well, I already had I already got married to the to the to the what I was supposed to marry and I guess let me try the dark meat out. I'm 40 something years old. Right? The leftover theory for the black guy. I I spade to spade, I got to call it, right? The leftover theory because I just gave you the context. In society, the bare basis of it, even though it's 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 grown now because of the high crime rate and all that stuff, and all that all that all that is attributable to no offense. There is a working hard syndrome. There is a learn you know getting educated because the Indians are throwing everything out the bag right now. How they move? I keep mentioning the Indians, okay? Because they're darker skin and they have, yes they are segregated. Yes they are. Yes they have racial racial uh, uh, you know. A racial hierarchy. However, they are darker skinned. They're coming up. Let's be honest. Let's call a spade a spade. They are darker skinned and they're coming up. Okay? So if you work hard from an educational perspective, you change your views, there's an opportunity to come up for a culture. But you have to get smarter.
can't, you know, you can't be dancing and shooting basketballs all the time. Hence why I say sports is a killer to the to, to the black race. Entertainment is the killer to the black race because, yes, it's good to see us on, in the limelight. And yeah, you have one, you know, you have, you have ten stars up there, right? However, ten stars doesn't help the the, the other three, four billion plus people of your skin color, including the Caribbean, Africa, U.S., all inclusive. Having 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 sixty guys get drafted in the NBA doesn't help out the, the two and a half three billion other people, folks. Sorry. <laughs> and these other cultures don't really tune into your culture, so they think every single one of you is an entertainer of some sort. Like there's a million positions for it. No, there's like there's like two five. There's like a. I'll give you this. There's like four thousand slots. Available for some type of entertainment activity, sports, actors, all that. I'm just throwing it out there. You got three and a half, four billion people. What are the chances? Let's continue on. So Gina May, 40, leftover black guy comes, syndrome comes on now. Jeezy can say the same. He remember, I, I I can't I can't I can't diss Jeezy because Jeezy's also saying the same shit. Remember, he got kids already. He got kids. You got kids with some black woman, so oh, I mean, she's a leftover and I'm a leftover. He's calling her a leftover, too. We get along. This may work. You see? Because he's in his twilight zone. He's a, he's, he was scaling to a new level. His style, he was doing, he was doing, he was on his R&B shit. He was moving on to a different type of level, right? He was on a Steve Harvey almost. No offense. If I go back and look at pictures of Jeezy and Let's just go there. Oh, is that is that Popeyes? Oh, it's a Lana Rose thing. Um, if I go into uh, Young Jeezy, Jeannie May, oh, this poor guy, man. I miss. <sighs> Values and yeah, they talked about the mother. Everyone's highlighted the mother, that culture, right? The mother didn't like it from the get go. Sorry, guy. I'm sorry. But that smile on his face, looking at that girl, this hood ninja. You know, man, she had tattoos on her arm like that. Yeah, she's in control of him. She was in control, man. And that's crazy. Oh, Lord. Her hand on his shoulder. Sheesh. That is not a... That is not a... Uh, she's so Hollywood, man. She's so used to Brad. I'm telling you, Jeezy. I can look at her and see that. All right? She's so used to Brad. But from his environment... When I went to college, I changed. I mean, I saw a whole different light. Right? I'm near University of Michigan. And boy, was it Playboy Bunny season. <laughs> I can't lie to you. <laughs> it was a bunny season, man. You, whew. When you go to, when you get an opportunity, back in the day when college was popular, because now it's like, okay, just do, go straight to business. Why even waste time? As a, as a, as a black male going over there, even as a white male from a small city, it doesn't matter if you're from a smaller town or a smaller city, and you dip set it out. You got your long white tee, your oversized fitted cap over your eyes and you're wearing your Gore-Tex and, you know, you got a couple iceberg joints and a couple Kooji joints and then you head out to the University of Michigan where they're not really rocking like that and you got that shit on and they're like, what the hell is this alien from? Like, they're, they're intrigued that they're into hip-hop but you got, you got guys wearing shorts, a t-shirt, sandals, pulling some of the baddest looking <laughs> your logic changes and you start to understand their different cultures and different different highlights yeah there's still a machismo for money right you know black guys more rims and and, 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 and and clothing and white guys more so sports cars vacations drinking activities Everything's a little bit different. You know, it falls in a different court. Okay. Um, and you learn that. 
you learn you learn the different species of cultures, right? And a lot of folks gravitate to the what they consider quote unquote the white side of the culture when you talk about island people, like uh, uh, excuse me, talking about uh, Asians, Asians and Indians and all that. They will fall in tow with whoever the lead is and follow that style. Blacks probably one of the few races that don't give a shit. We do our own thing. We set the trends. All right, that's my opinion. We set the trends, no doubt about it. Everyone takes a little bit from us, and then makes it makes it their own. Look at the Air Force Ones. Look at the Timberlands, folks. Let me tell you something. We've been wearing those things since 90, 92, 91, 93. I mean. 99 2001 i wasn't really wearing it then but you know i've seen those those sneakers that these kids are wearing the jordans we were wearing that so far back it's crazy but now they've taken it right they've taken it and i've seen some younger kids when i had a pair of uh uh you know some air force ones they said where'd you get where'd you where'd you get those from how you know yeah i never seen too many you know they, they didn't realize hey man i had these these were just sitting in a box these Air Force Ones were sitting in a box 15, 16 years ago. So trend wise, I believe we do, we do, we do trailblaze. I'm not gonna lie to you, but that's that's what we do. But back to Jeannie Main going all these little off topics and, and just building, building the character between cultures and having Jeezy not understand this culture. Her stance is not of I love you. It's Jeezy's stance of happiness, my friends. Jeezy appears to be the happy one. Look how she's standing with him. Leading in front. Look at the photos it tells you. A man of his resolve. It feels like. It feels like she's leading. She's leading him. Almost like he's adverted. And is trying to match. What she's doing. What's the number one rule in a relationship as a man? What's the number one rule in a relationship as a man? Look Again, look at the seating position. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. A lot of work on his side. Yeah, he's... This is too much. Yeah, this is a lot of work on his side. Yeah. Yeah, this is a oh my god, the pen. just a masculine frame on her compared to him. Okay, she would love, she would love to be no offense with a nice no. I want to, I don't want to go there, but if if that could be, if that could be Brad Pitt, she would be in her. She would, she would really be in her happiness. This is a toy for her, even though he's a multi-millionaire, successful, done very well from, for himself. This is her toy. It's mat matching outfit shit. God bless him. Again, everyone is on their dean at one point. No problem. Uh, that's fine. She's a good looking woman. And I think the rumors are the rumors. But the tattoos, be careful, Jesus. That's a lot of tattoos on a woman. Goes down to her leg. All right, goes down to a leg. Some very nice pictures. They do look like a nice couple, though, in my opinion. They do look nice, but her, her stance, her stance is this is like a, a luxury vacation. I'm not sure I really love you, but you certainly have the funds to make me look good and be decked out. Asians are very materialistic, okay? Especially the high-end Asians, all right? So he has all that in context and he thinks everything's going good. But again, when I look at these pictures and I see her walking, if Brad Pitt was next to her, it would be her ultimate dream. A big white blonde haired dude would be what she would want to be seen with. Okay. Her mother, that's what she would want to see. Okay. That's just facts. That's what they would want to see in that culture. I'm not saying anything's wrong with it. I'm not saying anything's wrong with it. You're entitled to your preference. But when you guys go over to these sides, you just got to keep that in the back of your mind if you decide to go further than just, uh, as she says, dark meat on the side. You got to be cognizant of it. 
Here goes Mario Lopez, Pretty Ricky. All right. Latino guys, I think, get it in the most, by the way. They have the, the even tone because white guys may be too white, black guys may be too black, but the Latino guys are right in the middle and they're very, they're dangerous. No one really talks about Latino guys being the top. They keep saying white guys. I want to give you a little subtlety on some real talk shit. The Latin guys, if they're not too, too aggressive, they sweep up the floor. They sweep up the floor, okay? Easily. Easily. See, Papito, see I'm not going to diss you. They are also racial as well. They're, they're, they're on the dark meat thing as well on the side. But they sweep up the floor. Jeezy didn't know, even though this is a rumor, may not be true. If if this is her co-house, Mario been hitting this. I know, I know Jeezy, he smiled at you, shook your hand and gave you a hug, didn't he? <laughs> I know those groups. I know them in and out. All right, I'm older. I know them in and out. You can't run anything by me. I know you. I know what you're capable of. I know how you're on the side. You're not gonna get me. All right, and you keep playing with me. We go on a lie detector test, and then you, then you'll really be be afraid. But that said, Mario Lopez probably has been in these guts for a long time, Jeezy. He's been in these guts even since she was married to the white guy. All right. Ah, Jean, you should have video montage of clips to Instagram on August 11th from her week co-hosting uh, Access Hollywood alongside Mara. So, oh, oh, on top of the money thing, the money thing may be going away because Jeezy doesn't have any albums, but she's still on TV. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Jeezy, strike three, baby. So she's still popular. Remember, their status. You're the money bag, but the status is the ultimate. All right. Even though the Safe Auto Bell alum has been married to wife Courtney Miles since 2000, well, that doesn't. That's he's, he's, you know, and I don't think Mario's Latino. I think he's Filipino or something. But he has a Latino look. No, Mario Lopez. Yeah, Mario Lopez. So he should be some Latino in there. But that could, I think that's Filipino. Has been married to wife Courtney Miles since December, which Filipinos have Latin in them, by the way. To wife Courtney Miles since December 2012. At the time of her post, fathers gushed over what a great pair they made. The Mario and Jeannie talk, talk show is a must. One person, no, oh my God, can watch you two interact every single day. That's all she needed. Another user wrote, okay, such great chemistry on air. Well, she's an L.A. girl. She has chemistry for whoever has status of money. Stupid. The blondies out there, the black girls out there, LA's a vibe. Them girls are chilled out. They get along with everybody because they've seen everybody. <laughs> That's why guys love them. They're so cool. They're so cool, man. They can talk. Yeah, they talk. They can talk to anybody because because they've been with everybody. All right, I'm not saying sexually, but been as experienced dealing with. Of course. Of course, that's easy. Okay, such great because because Jeezy said they had great chemistry. I want more. While one fan, of, damn, they are really good together. Jeezy felt special, thought his chemistry was related just to him. No, she has chemistry with everybody. She's an actor, L.A. girl. She's an actor, an L.A. girl. They get along with everybody. <laughs> After GZ filed for divorce in 714, people began looking at the video through different lenses. At one point, the pair joked about skin contact. And at the end of the week, with Mario, Jeannie brought Monica, the daughter she shares with the sole survivor rapper, to the set where she sat in between her mom and the former Dancing with the Stars contestant as the two signed off for the week. Mario called up to Monaco, who was born in January, and, and held her close. Okay, of course he did. In a behind the scenes video, Gigi included a clip of Mario holding Monaco up in the air, then kissing her sweetly on her cheek. So she's already positioning Mario, because once she got when, once she got rid of Jeezy, right? Because she she was playing that. Our girls playing so far ahead. They're so smart. I love them. They 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 playing so far ahead. She already had she. And again, this is this is just rumor, but a good learning tool. That's why I'm continuing on with this gossip shit. I right? maybe false, maybe false. Okay, let's let's keep that in the back of my mind. But that said, good learning tool. She already had the, the, the script written on how she's going to let Jeezy go in about two years. Okay? And how Mario's going to step in and then figuring out how to get Mario's wife out of the picture. That's, that's a woman. <laughs> that's why they're very, that's why they, that's why I feel a lot of guys say guys rule the world. I say, be careful. Be careful. 
These women have a gift. And that is it. They plan this breakup months in the head, and, and, and it plays out like an investment fund taking years to finally come to meet the gold mine and get the profits. That's a woman. Following the divorce, filing fans took to X forming on Twitter to further the affair rumors. If Jeezy is divorced with Jeannie May over some sex thing with Ryan Lopez, he is petty and needs to grow up. You see this shit? Because black culture, guys, and black culture, just for all the white folks and Spanish folks and all those the Asians that are, that are watching this, they don't take that sex and shit. They're not, they're not going to. The, the flirtiness that I see in different cultures is not going to happen with the black culture. This doesn't, you don't do it. They cheat, yes, they cheat, but it's behind the scenes. It's not a, it's not out in the public. Usually, it's changing now. It's changing now. The culture's finally succumbed to what everyone else is doing. I'm not gonna lie. I see a lot of black women doing it more aggressively, and you know they could care less. But black man in general, even though I understand where you know we get the leftover, and the, you know some some may say the unwanted, the unwanted usually go to the black culture. That includes women, by the way. That includes woman, right? Brad Pitt's not with a black woman. Let's go. Let's be honest. Call a spade a spade. Stop playing with me. I understand that there's a lot of white men with black women. I get it. But 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 not no Brad Pitt, not no Leonardo DiCaprio, right? Okay, let's be honest. All right, you you can get a black guy, you know, you can get a rich white guy, no doubt about it. All right, but he's usually a leftover, unwanted. Um, if Jeezy is divorcing Jeannie May over some sexting with Mario Lopez, he is petty and needs to grow up. Do you not see how fine Mario Lopez is? Wow. Mario Lopez kissed. Do you see the protectionism they give and how Jeezy's already in the wrong? And this is somebody that may be uh, starting a sexual deviancy to him and he's the married man. Do you see how it is? That underhook you usually get when you walk in the store and they see... Uh, you know, a, a Brad versus a versus a Tyrone. The Brad gets the first treatment with a big smile on the face. The Tyrone gets the side eye. You think I don't? You think I don't know what you go through? <laughs> huh? You think I don't know what you go through, guys? Every day. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta keep. You gotta hold your patience. I, you know, I just don't hold my patience on the street. But if you're in a store or something like that, I'll be. I'll be nice. I won't say shit. But if I catch you outside, you have a problem. If Jeezy is divorced and Jeannie May over some sex with somebody, he's petty. Needs to grow up. Do you not see that? Okay, Mara Lopez kissed Jeannie May. Baby, like three of the three of them have had a family day before. While it's unclear where the sexting rumor came from, one you said Mary Lopez is happily married with three kids. I wonder if him or his wife snitched on Jeannie May because she didn't make it past the sexting stage. Holy lift. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Wow. <sighs> He's hurting. All right. He's hurting. On the same day of the divorce filing, Jeezy shared a cryptic Instagram post leaning against a high-end Mercedes Benz with some friends in the background, along with the caption, too focused on who I'm becoming to focus on who's not coming with me. I'm not sure where he's going, but he was trying to go into the next <laughs> Steve Harvey and look at the uh, look at look at the uh, bunny. I, I don't know where he's going, but he has it. Whatever he thinks he's going to do next. It's not, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No hope for The fact that he said no hope for reconciliation. That's, 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 I think he called us Ch Saxton guys. But it's a lesson on. Sometimes you have to go where you want it. If you take something that doesn't necessarily put you in first place, you have to be much higher than her. Yes, I said it. You have to be like these passport bros. Sorry. That's your only chance. And even then, if you bring her here and she sees the other, other groups, they'll magnetize to the other groups. You got no chance in hell. And those other groups don't respect you. So lo and behold... Let me give you a little tip and why why I say it's probably easier for you to deal with a black girl because a black girl knows your culture, even though they slide into it with, with, with these other groups. See, I said it. But when you get with a 
Asian girl from Asia. She was from a probably from a poor village. <laughs> Sorry, God. Just gotta be honest. <laughs> You're not gonna get the princess of Philippines or a doctor in the Philippines usually, right? They're gonna say they're a doctor, but they're probably, you know. A nurse's aide or whatever. But you're not going to usually get that. Why would they? Right? Why would they? It's just easier. It's not that. Listen, man. It's not like you're not attractive or they don't like talking to you. Or blah, blah, blah. It's just easier. Marriage is a family thing. Do, do you want the headache? You're going to have to deal with Uncle Tommy and Johnny and Bobby Ball. They're going to be looking at you funny and making their internal jokes that they learn from society. Because they don't have the brain power to think above, right? It's very rare. Your be- your white, the white culture is 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 at the top of the hierarchy in Western so- so- societies. Okay, I didn't say Asia, right? I didn't I didn't say uh, you know Africa, all that, right? I mentioned uh, specifically Western countries that we live in. That's why we're speaking English. They're at the top because because it's theirs. It's theirs. They're supposed to be at the top, guys. By the way. Right, we didn't found America. It wasn't Asian, Indian, Chinese, or whatever. Right, we didn't found America. We didn't found France or England. That's white, right? So it's their country. They should be on top. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, you just gotta have in the back of your mind <laughs> that if you bring her to a society where they're in control, what do you get? Right? What are you gonna get? Think about that. All right. What do you expect? Now, black guys are so cocky. F that. I'm good. I ain't worried about that, bro. Da, 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 da. All right. All right. I got you. I got you. I'm just giving you a little something to think about. If you're in a culture where it's not your it's not your native country, because it's not. We're not native to America. All right. Maybe maybe way, way back when everything was connected. I get it, guys. I, I believe the earth was connected at one point. You can see the pieces look like a goddamn Lego at some point where you can just connect connect the dots, the puzzle. Right, you can just push them together and they would connect. I believe that. But at current state, at, in recent times, right, this is a white country. They founded it, they brought people over to work for them to build it up, and that's it. All right. Don't expect you being from the outside looking in from these other cultures that really worship the other the other the, 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 the culture here because they're coming here and they want to be a part of it. Don't expect them to sh- treat you with any more respect than they would that top culture. Matter of fact, you're gonna get ten to twenty times less respect than others. This was just a this was just a leftover play. You got money, she got the bag, and she says, "I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing." She's gonna move on so fast from Jeezy, he won't even have a chance to rec- to even have a conversation. No tears, no nothing. Oh, Jeezy, I'm so mad that you're mad. Oh, I didn't mean to hurt you like that, but I mean, come on. I'm just texting Mario Lopez. I know them in and out. Every culture. I've been with all of them. I know them in and out. Jeezy learned a lesson. I hope you guys learn a lesson. It's not that it cannot be done. It's that you need to have safe safeguards in place. I can go to another video. What does a safeguard mean? means you can't be on tv and shit means like you move to fucking the middle of western pennsylvania where there's where where the where the other cultures are not as big as you from a visual perspective and you you know you're top dog you move to a smaller town you know you're not on tv you go to you you get the tarjay girl versus the girl that's wearing gucci prada matching outfits all that shit you know benz and all that you get the honda Accord. anyway i'm gonna leave it at that man we talking media hope i gave it to you and if you're dealing with a buddy, it's the same thing. You don't go for the Paris Hilton. That's a headache. That's a headache. Why would you do that? Tarje, right? Lower middle class, middle class. Okay, family. You are you are a little bit of a come up to her. You have to be a come up in some way. See, white guys come up is his race. He can just be white. They'll pay for that. Other cultures, even black women, will pay for the lighter race. You know that girl here, all that shit. You'll come up, black man. You have to have a lot of different things. Again, they they find you attractive, but you gotta have a lot, a little bit more things to bring to the table, and you have to be in a smaller, more condensed area to make yourself successful. In my mind, 
in some of these relationships. Your boy Mikey, I'm gonna sign off right here. Yeah, I understand there's some girls that are in, indulged in our cultures. Again, that's a minority. I get it. There's girls that love hip hop that love black guys. I get it. Peace. But overall, this is my synopsis. Jeezy just didn't know the culture. I'm gonna sign off here. Relationships. It's deep, man. It goes deep. I'm gone. Peace.